my name is Tiffany and today I'm going to show you how to go from this gorgeous frizzy mess into the perfect curls. Maybe I'll do like a go from this <laughs> to this and then I'll like insert a clip of the end. Anyways, you get it. Okay. So anyways, today I'm going to show you how to get the perfect curls. Now, I am someone who has naturally curly hair, so right now it's just frizzy, but if I get out of the shower, let it dry and dry naturally, it gets really curly, but then it's like all matted and I wanna brush it, and then when I brush it, it turns into this. So, I like to curl it with a curling iron to make it look sleek and beautiful and pretty. So I'm going to show you how I get the perfect curls because I have been curling my hair my entire life. My mom started me out doing sponge rollers in my hair, you know, like the sponge foam rollers that you would wear to bed and like wear all, all night. Then I would do hot rollers, you know, the ones that you just put in for like 30 minutes. Then I've used tons of different curling irons and um, I finally found a curling iron that I love. I found a method that works perfect, and so I'm going to show you what I do. But in the meantime, if you like this shirt, self promo, <laughs> um, you can actually buy this. I have an Etsy store where I sell merchandise with my illustrations printed on it. I have a lot of different ones, like different themes, different colors. They all have some sort of like cute little wings. So if you would like to buy them, you can visit my Etsy store, I'll have it linked down below. But anyways, let's get on to the video. To get the perfect curls, you need the perfect heat protector. And I'm going to show you a product that will change your life. Seriously. This is the Beauty Protector Protect and Detangle Spray. It's a leave-in conditioner spray. And you could only get this on Birchbox.com. Now I first got this on um, when I did like the Birchbox monthly subscription and I got the little sample size and I used it and I was obsessed with it. First of all, it smells so good. But second of all, it leaves your hair so shiny, so healthy. It helps protect against the heat. You would think this is sponsored and if they want to sponsor me, like they can, but this is not sponsored. I buy this um, every three months about and you can only get it on birchbox.com. It's only like $25 or something, but I use this multiple times a day. I use it when I get out of the shower, my hair's wet. I use it um, before I do any styling to my hair. It just smells good. It makes your hair look sleek, shiny. So yeah. So what we're gonna do is spray this in our hair and then kind of like run your fingers through it. Spray. You don't need too much. And there. Next, what you're gonna do is brush out your hair. This is very important. Oh, so you don't get any tangles. And it's easier to curl. Next, my hair is already parted, but if it's not parted, you would wanna just part it to where you want it. Now we're gonna separate our hair into two sections like you're about to do low pigtails or something and then you're going to tie the section with a ponytail holder that you're not working on so I always start on this side so I'm just going to go ahead and tie this just so it's out of the way and we can focus on this side okay next we are going to divide our hair into different section starting from the bottom up to the top. Now this is very important. Like I see a lot of people who do their hair or they curl it and they just, you know, have it all down and they just grab sections and curl and grab sections and curl. But the problem with that is you may be missing some sections. You may be overlapping and double curling, which is extra heat that you don't want. So the best way to do it and the best way to get definition and curls throughout all layers of your hair is to section it. So this is what I do. Grab the bottom. This will be first section. All of this, take one of these like big clamps, clips, whatever, and just clamp it up. It's called fashion style. Okay. <laughs> Next, 
smooth your hair out. Grab the first section up towards the top and start curling. Now, the way you want to curl is you want to curl away from your face. Never curl towards your face. You want to curl away. And this will give you a more wavy, beachy look. If you curl towards your face, they just look like, you know, Shirley Temple banana curls. And so I have pretty long hair, so I just kind of slowly go. And you also want to make sure to leave the ends out. So I'm not going to go any further. I'm not going to make sure that these are underneath the clamp. You want the ends out because this is also what's going to give you like a beachy, wavy look instead of a traditional banana curl. Hold that for a few seconds and then just release. A lot of people like hold the curl and let it cool. I don't think you need to do that. I don't think there's any like point in it. I've tried it before, it didn't make a difference. So just go like that and you're done. Push it to the side and do it again. This, I'll probably do it all on one curl. If you wanted them really tighter, you could have sectioned it. But I'm just gonna do it in one. Also, I don't think I mentioned this curling iron. This, I actually just got at TJ Maxx for $20. So you don't have to spend a lot of money on a curling iron like people might try to tell you. Like a $100 curling iron, it's no better than this $20 one that I got at TJ Maxx. But what I will say is you want one that has this ceramic plated look. You don't want one that looks like plastic. You also don't want what says is ceramic but is a, has a matte finish. It just doesn't give you the same shine and the same hold to your curl. So just look for one that's like metallic like this. I'll link a couple below for maybe Amazon. Um, but I liked this one because it was rose gold. But yeah, you just want one that's a ceramic metallic uh, look. This is I think a one and a quarter inch barrel. And this will just give you um, a more, you know, loose, wavy, beachy look. If you, the smaller you go in barrel size, the tighter the curls are gonna be. done and then you're just going to repeat the process on this side. I have to um, fix my bangs and kind of recurl them until I can get them perfect. But this actually looks pretty good. I'm impressed. But yeah, this is how I get my perfect curls. Super quick, super simple. I've timed myself before and when I'm in like a super rush, I can get this done in 
less than eight minutes. And I'm pretty sure this only took me about 10 to 12 minutes. I was being a little more careful, but yeah. It's a great way to just get some curls in. As long as you have the right technique and you have the right tools, you can just get the perfect curls every time. That's why I highly, highly recommend that you get this uh, beauty protector spray. It's really gonna change everything. It makes your hair so smooth, so shiny. It makes it so easy to curl. And it's um, a heat protectant too, so it's gonna keep your hair looking good no matter how many times you curl it. And then um, you just need a curling iron that's like this, a ceramic barrel, uh, the metallic ceramic one. So I'll link a couple options for you down below. They don't have to be expensive at all, $20, $30, um, and that's it. So yeah, sometimes what I might do is spray some of this Tresemme um, hairspray. This is the Extra Firm Control All Day Humidity Resistance Tress 2 spray. And I like this one because it's not aerosol. It's just a spray. Um, because I've noticed a lot of times with aerosol hairsprays, what will happen is is like you'll get like little particles like in your hair, or the sometimes like the spray will be like so intense and it'll just like knock your curls out. But so yeah, I think I'll go ahead and just spritz a little bit. Mostly what I'll do it for is my bangs and see what you can see what I'm doing. It's kind of like protecting my face with my hand. Just spraying a little bit. This does really work. I used this when I was in Disney World and it was super humid and it helped it not to frizz. So yeah, I don't run my fingers through my hair, anything like that. I just like the way it looks. As you can see how I left the ends out, they kind of just go out instead of curling under and that's what's gonna give you that beachy look. So yeah, if you like this tutorial, let me know. Give it a thumbs up. I'd love it if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel. I post a new video every single day. And let me know if you have any other like hair curling tips or products that you love that help curl your hair easier or better. And yeah, just let me know what you think. And I'll see you next time. Ready? This is what I call the rainbow girl shirt. So we're gonna do <laughs> rainbows and sparkles. Rainbows and sparkles.